Hello there, my beautiful Aquarius friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome, my friends. My name is Ria, and I do these readings every week. So today's reading is a channeled reading. I've done a separate ritual for this this morning, a meditation that I do in order to channel energy. So we're not going to focus on planetary alignments or any kind of theme other than yourself today. So what I have planned for you is I'm going to open your reading with an animal spirit card. Then I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message spirit has for you. Then I've got this bonus card uh, deck. It's called the Lantern Oracle. This has deep powerful messages. So I'm super excited about pulling a card from this deck for you today. And then we're going to close off with an angel number. All right. So those of you that are watching, if you've been seeing signs through animals or insects, any kind of repeating numbers or angel numbers, this is all going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So stay tuned for all of this, my beautiful friends. All right, Aquarius, let's call in spirit and open up your reading. See what it is that spirit would like you to hear today. So we are getting for you gazelle look at that have any of you seen a gazelle this is your confirmation today if you haven't seen one you're seeing one now on your screen and perhaps you may see one as well so the message here is what looks to be an obstacle could be the opportunity you've been asking for so i'm going to read that one more time what looks to be an obstacle could be the opportunity you've been asking for and you know what I feel whatever it is that is coming into your life, whatever it is that you're experiencing, it's exactly what this card is sharing. Okay, so I do feel that some of you are that are experiencing obstacles. It's there because it's the opportunity that you've asked for. Okay, so um, expect the unexpected here. Look at this beautiful forest that this uh, gazelle is in. So they're really wanting you to understand that you live in a world of beauty. Okay, even though things feel like they're difficult or challenges show up, it doesn't tune out the fact that everything is still beautiful. Okay, so they're wanting you to practice gratitude here. Um, King of Pentacles, Aquarius, very powerful energy coming in. Okay, so you're meant to rule your reality. You're not here to compete with anyone. All right, there is this grounded footing energy here very grounded energy and opportunity for you to really rise in your world to really shine um, but this is you harnessing your power but wielding it around okay this is the energy that spirit is really wanting you to embody at this time so the king of pentacles to start we have the ten of swords as well so perhaps some of you have hit rock bottom maybe there's an obstacle that you're facing right now, just like in this gazelle card, right? Perhaps whatever it is that you're going through right now, especially if you've hit rock bottom, you are meant to be in this place because as you rise up from this, you're going to see the power that you actually have. So this is an uprising of you. Look at all of these connections that are also taking place. So clarity is coming through. You're going to actually, I'm seeing some of you being grateful for this opportunity a little bit later out when you're looking back at this, okay? So the Ten of Swords. Now, what I also want you to do today is to use your own intuition with my readings. So whenever you see my cards popping up on screen, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. Not only will this strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages, okay? So there's a completion happening and a new beginning uh, for you. Knight of Cups. So there's an offering, there's some sort of an opportunity that is showing itself through the Ten of Swords, okay? So I feel like um, once these swords disappear, you're going to see this coming through. And there's a very heart-centered energy here. There is this feeling of um, new belief here as well with this card. And there's this uh, feeling of being free from something. This is what I'm getting here with this card. So. 
Um, and I do feel spirit is bringing some messages for you around what this Knight of Swords is, sorry, Knight of Cups is for you today. All right. So the Knight of Cups. Now, before I begin, I just wanted to mention that we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. This is also a general reading for you today, Aquarius. So those of you that are watching, if my reading isn't resonating for you, please leave it behind, but also check out your rising and your moon signs as well. So I'm getting someone that has been in a position like this. Perhaps things were going really good. You built an empire. You're really doing well in your life. And perhaps something went wrong. Maybe something has happened leaving you in this position of the Ten of Swords. Now, what I'm getting here is definitely a cycle that is ending now. This could have been a 10-year cycle for some of you. This could have been a five-year cycle. Whatever this is, I feel this chapter of your life is meant to be left in the background and there's something new that is forming and what I'm getting here is you know when you go through highs there's lows when you go through lows there's highs I feel some of you are riding high for a little while and now you're about to or are experiencing a low and this is a low it's the kind of low you've never experienced before but you're meant to rise up so it's almost like you have um jumped and you went down on a trampoline and you're about to launch back up is what spirit is showing me someone on a trampoline going in slow motion down and they're about to and they're not showing me them flying out but they're just about to move upwards so i feel that prepare for this high that is coming in your life remember that we go through these ups and downs in life there's a rhythm with it um, there's also cycles with those rhythms and what spirit is wanting you to do here is hold on to this vision of the knight of pentacles there's an opportunity much larger than you're actually um even imagining here with what's coming in for you this is what spirit is really wanting me to um, relay to you here is there something coming into your life that is much larger than you're expecting or even feeling and this ten of swords energy is meant to happen for you to learn something from that experience so rather than allowing this experience to define your life, why not use it as an opportunity to really grow and learn from the experience? There's a lot of wisdom and knowledge coming in as well here. Um, this person has worked really hard to get to this place, and I feel that you are working really hard in your life, Aquarius, to get to this place, to keep this place, right? This is rooted in... Um, this is rooted in this like solid foundation something that you have built for yourself so it's all about looking at that foundation that you have built um is it um is it authentically you because if it isn't if you if things feel if the few things aren't feeling like they're solidly placed in the ground for you this grounded energy for you um then you're going to see things um shifting a little bit in your life and what are they trying to say with this here i'm getting moving shadows coming in like moving shadows so perhaps oh this could be you removing some of your shadows your ego parts of yourself so perhaps some of you have built up some egos through this building of this structure this foundation where um, maybe through hitting this energy of the ten of swords is making you realize that parts of yourself or parts of the things that you have built over time now need to be let go of or um there's a shift happening where there's and it doesn't feel good like I feel this could be like your health this could be this ten of swords energy where it feels like you've been sucker punched it's just like this all of a sudden you were doing really well and you hit this brick wall and you kind of went down and you're not sure how to go around it so again um, centering yourself cultivating the inner peace and not freaking out while you're going through this this is a part of your purpose. This is what why spirit is saying you're meant for something much bigger. There's something way bigger happening here. Okay, so they're wanting you to be resourceful. Um, what looks like an obstacle is in fact um, something that you had asked for coming in. So this is building you up. And you're going to be in an even higher place. Like I feel some of you are on a mountain here at the top sitting on this throne. But there's an even bigger mountain that maybe you have been desiring this whole time. Maybe you've been wanting more here, Aquarius, but it is showing up in your life in a way that you're not expecting. Okay, so there's some spiritual growth happening. 
um, you're really learning something from this experience and it's strengthening you. You are gaining power from it. So this, think of this as an opportunity, especially those of you that feel like you are feeling and uh, feeling like there's an obstacle along your path here. They're wanting you to really embrace this energy of the gazelle. Okay. Um, so look online, the meaning of the gazelle here and see how that resonates for you and how you can embody that energy in your own life. So this is kind of like the rising of the phoenix. There's this new energy. There's this new part of you that is developing, this new part of you that is coming into being. And I feel that, um, what is this energy? This There's like this deep connection that is coming in and, and it's coming in slowly. But what I'm getting here with this is like, your connection um, to this outer world, to this reality, to some of the things um, that you once believed are dissolving, okay? And there's this slow process of dissolving that is happening here. And I do feel that whatever these swords are, you're kind of plucking them out one by one. I do feel that some of you realize that you're in this place, you're like, all right, I'm in this spot right now. I can see what all of these swords are that are, are surrounding me. And I'm in this like space, like I'm seeing someone actually sitting in this space. And this is metaphorically, right? Where you're sitting in this space, there's a lot of swords and you can see the light shining, even though you can, might not be able to see it. I'm getting not like the swords reflecting back and forth light where sometimes there's confusion around that, right? Um, and there's a lot of things on your mind here, a lot of things that you're thinking about. And I feel it has to do with past failures, the things that may have gone wrong in your life. Um, it almost feels like your life is flashing before your eyes here. Um, this is all the stuff that I feel that you're processing all at once, some of you, um, and you're meant to actually process this. So this could be some of you that have done some sort of psychedelic. I feel this is kind of almost like a trip that is coming in through psychedelics. Um, something to do with your mind, a rewiring, a reprogram or something that is happening. And it feels really uncomfortable. And um, maybe you have uh, started a practice in your life where you're releasing energies here and you're, you're being reborn, you're recreating yourself. This is what I'm getting with this card right now. And this is what spirit is showing me in my mind here is someone that went into water and came out as a new person. Um, I'm seeing someone with dirty clothes on and all of a sudden they come out all clean and shiny. This is really interesting, but this is how they're showing me this. So there is this um, season changing in your life, this new era, this new energy that you're about to walk into that you have, you have cultivated this. And perhaps you don't even realize that this is a formation of a manifestation or a prayer. And it's now starting to take shape, take form in your life. And what once was no longer is. So it can't exist anymore because you're now moving into this new existence in your life where everything is going to be realigned to something different. So um, this is where you're really going to grow and become that version of yourself that is in the even higher place than where you were. You're gaining more wisdom and strength. You're meant to uplift and lead others here, uh, Aquarius. This is what I feel that is happening. And because of your experience, you have something to share. You have something to teach. So the wisdom, the knowledge is coming from the experience itself and even everything that you have already gone through in your life. So that, that needs to be shared uh, with people because there are people that are lost in the world that need help. And I feel that a lot of us out here, especially those of us that are watching these readings that are out here that feel that there's something much more in the world, there's some of us that are meant to actually share that more with the world. So I do feel parts of this has to do with you, Aquarius. So that connection is coming in. I'm getting somebody writing a book. This comes in quite often. Um, writing a book, sharing your knowledge, sharing your story. You are a survival manual for others, I feel like. This is what I'm getting here. So an opportunity is coming in for you to really break free from once, what once was and come into this new that is supposed to be what is for you. And um, this is all heart-centered energy. There's a lot of emotion tied to this, a lot of love energy that is expanding in you. And this is what spirit is really wanting you to tap into is no matter what it is that you're going through, always coming out of that place of love, kindness, compassion for yourself and others, right? Um, 
this is what I'm getting here because when we're in a place where we're at rock bottom, um, we we can go through emotions and things in our lives where we we might project, we might um, be angry, we might be you know a certain way, and we have our reasons for that. But if we're showing up in the world with that energy, then we're going to stay here in this energy with it, right? Where we guard ourselves, it's almost like we put this fence around us. So spirit and those energies can't connect. So you just want to be aware of where you are energetically in the world right now, how you're showing up in the world, even though you're experiencing perhaps an obstacle, okay? So again, moving slowly with this energy, giving of yourself, um, giving of your energy here, however that shows up for you, however you're meant to do that, because there's this flow coming into your life right now, Aquarius, where you're meant to... Um, give and then that receive energy so there's uh, there's this like really shiny ball that is flowing this way so it's in the giving position um so i feel that there's something that you're meant to learn from this experience like there's something that i feel some of you have been missing maybe you're going through a loop energy where you feel like the same thing keeps happening over and over again and you're going to realize what that is. You're going to break that pattern. Okay, this is going to break that cycle for you. And you're now moving on to this newer energy, this energy of love, this energy of um, joy, excitement. This is where your heart is singing, okay? So there's a pattern that is about to break here that is unleashing you into this new like level of energy, this new reality. This could be that fifth dimension for some of you, right? We are all in this massive um, upgrade this massive um, ascension that we're going through and everything that is happening in the world we've got all of these different energies at play planetary alignments we've got these solar flares and it's this like like I feel the energy of the earth is almost like pumping like a heart and it's beating faster and getting bigger um, and there's something that is that is coming to light here and I feel this is energetically as a whole but also individually in our own lives so I, I do feel for you here Aquarius something big is coming through and you're about to break free from something and there is a sense of freedom coming in the sense of um, movement the sense of fresh air this like feeling of being unstrapped from something this feeling of um, really equipping yourself like I'm getting information but I'm also see, seeing the information being applied like this wisdom you are using and applying that wisdom having a plan having some sort of a strategy um, learning from your mistakes learning from your experiences and growing and applying the superpowers that you acquire through those experiences so I feel that some of you are coming to this realization this like awakening this knowing that you know what I am actually very powerful because of everything that I've gone through so you're looking back and seeing everything that you have accumulated as far as strengths as far as skills as far as knowledge and you're starting to apply this and it's coming from this place of your heart and you're seeing how you are a gift from God you are a gift from God that is meant to walk this earth to share to experience to explore to be curious to exchange energies just to be one with everything so this is the energy coming in so they're really wanting you to focus on being resourceful here um, and not looking at obstacles as roadblocks but instead opportunities for you to find a way around it find a way through it okay so because you're going to break free and come out of the other side in this position of the knight of cups all right, so there's this beautiful flow. So this is that offering from the universe for you. Um, I do feel it's a prayer, a manifestation that is taking shape and it, it's throwing you off guard because it feels like this. there's no way this is my manifestation. I did not manifest this. But the reason why it's manifesting the way it is is because there's a lot of you that has to shift in order to be in alignment. So there's a connection um, of that dream so those of you that know what this looks like in your mind you can feel it you can experience it you could smell it you can hear it you could touch it right if you have clarity on this now you have actually aligned with this energy because this exists for you in your reality and what's happening is spirit is connecting you with that 
and in order for it to connect, some of these things cannot exist anymore, right? And again, this is you breaking free and out of this place and coming out on this new energetic um, uh, level. This is what I'm getting here for you today. So, wow, that is very powerful. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull the Lantern Oracle bonus card for you. I'm going to read you the interpretation from this guide well, guidebook. So anything more that Spirit wants to share with you is going to come through this card today, Aquarius. So we are getting for you today, Lantern. Number 44, conscious is consciousness is light. Look at this beautiful ball. Remember how I was saying I was seeing that ball? It's that energy and she's holding the ball and the energy, the light. Um, it looks like lightning bowls, electricity here. And we've got... Um, Oh my gosh, she's holding lanterns and things kind of feel like they're crooked and they might be, and she's trying to balance this. Balance is going to be so important for you, Aquarius. We have the number 44. Um, we have a master number, 44 on this card. Some of you might be seeing these numbers. Perhaps you're a life path number four. Perhaps you're 44 years old. I do feel this number is significant in your lives. And there's reasons why you're saying, seeing this because the number four in numerology is tied to foundations, those solid roots. It's also tied to manifestation. Okay, so those of you looking for timing, 44 days around the message of this card, but also four days, four weeks, four months, and four hours. So the number 44 here. All right, so these are a little bit longer messages, so bear with me here, everyone. The crone has completed the circle of phases and perspectives pertaining to feminine consciousness, maiden, mother, guardian, and crone. The lanterns hanging from the featured crone's wrists illuminate her world with the clarity of having integrated her spirit self with herself. She has successfully released all of the illusionary filters that had created limiting effects on her mind and fed the unhelpful aspects of the ego. So look at that. And these are all those things, those filters, illusionary filters. Okay. So the white light of love that the crone is now, uh, it, it, sorry, I'm going to read that part again. The white light of love that the crone is, is can now reach all that is within her periphery. So look at this white light coming in through this card, okay? So without judgment or expectation, she is now capable of objectively observing all with compassion, consideration, and calm composure. All matters in life are neutral. Many are not conducive to the meaning and significance that we or others impulsively attach to them. When we view predicaments without emotion or the significance it holds for us, how things make sense beyond our personalization of them are illuminated. To separate ourselves from the drama, assumptions, and heightened emotions is to see rather than react according to the underlying dynamics at play. This affords us access to the empowered capacity to, whether to, to choose whether to participate in what is being triggered or projected onto the situation. The crone has shown up to remind you that whenever you feel challenged in life, stop whatever you are doing and ask spirit self, what am I being invited to learn here? Each obstacle, moment of overwhelm and hardship offers necessary and valuable lessons to evolve us beyond being a match to it. Any perceived mistake, wrong turn or regret plays a part in your pathway to insight and liberation. Now, liberation is coming through this card here for you. Please be assured that each currently perceived negative is a presently unlit lantern and therefore opportunity to see clearer. All that is needed is for the light to be turned on so that the obstacle can be recognized as the positive lesson, tool, growth, insight, or gift that it is. You are always met with teachings and forms that match whatever you are available to receive them. And at that moment, each teaching is necessary for your learning of another better way in your progression. So may you shine the light of your love into any lesson that holds a lingering negative charge for you until it transforms into heartfelt gratitude for and recognition of its supporting role in your evolution. Love is the only place from which to be to observe, be in, and reflect upon. So proceed in the great neutralizing white light of love, whether we may compassionately embrace all facets of our lives 
uh, of ourselves and others. Now, Crohn's message to you today is awareness expands as we clear the darkness with light. Clarity transforms our per perception into lanterns of insight that can illuminate a way for others too. So again, I'm going to read this part again. Awareness expands as we clear the darkness with a light. Clarity transforms our perception into lanterns of insight that can illuminate a way for others too. So look at that. What a beautiful message for you today. All right, let's now pull an angel number. Some of you have been seeing angel numbers. This is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. Repeating numbers as well, right? So 44 is a repeating number. Oh my goodness. We are getting four, 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 fours, four, fours here as well. So look at this stability. It's time for you to really create that stability in your life. Put those roots in, understand what your values, your beliefs are and how that works in your entire life. So your hard work is going to pay off is what spirit is saying here. Okay, so security, grounding, practical matters, growth and alignment is all happening and there's stability coming in in all areas of your life here. Aquarius, they're wanting you to cultivate this as well. It's time for you to take action and build that solid foundation in your life. So again, four days, four weeks, four months and four hours and 44 days for timing for those of you that are interested in timing. All right. So this is your message. This is your reading. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.